Welcome to the bleeding video for the Lewis LV2 hydraulic disc brake. First you will need to prepare a 3mm allen key, a T10 Torx key, your bite point adjuster, mineral oil, an elastic band, a cleaning rag, your bleed kit, and some alcohol spray. We also recommend you wear gloves during the process. The first step is to set your lever angle horizontal with the ground. You will then need to ensure that the lever reach is wound all the way out and that the bite point adjuster is also wound all the way out before beginning the process. Make sure your bike is in a bike stand where you can easily remove the wheel and the disc and then we can remove the brake pads being careful not to lose the safety clip or the brake pad bolt. Carefully insert the bleeding blocks that were provided with the brake. Tighten with the 3mm Allen key, being careful not to over tighten. Next, remove the primary bleed port with the T10 Torx key, being careful not to lose the O-ring. Attach the M5 threaded adapter, and then attach the oil funnel, making sure it's in the closed position, like so. Next step is to take your mineral oil and fill the syringe, ensuring that the syringe is full right to the end of the tube. We can now unscrew the bleed port on the caliper. Attach the M5 threaded adapter. Next, attach the syringe with the tube in the closed position. We can now open the oil funnel, open the syringe, and begin to pump oil into the system. You should see oil and some air bubbles appearing in the oil funnel. If there is insufficient oil, we can add more oil to the funnel as we push the oil forwards and backwards through the system until there are no air bubbles. Note, if the oil is dirty, it should be removed and the process repeated until only clean oil is running through the system. At this stage, we can use an elastic band to hold the lever all the way in while we try to coax any last air bubbles out of the system at the syringe end. You should see any remaining air bubbles being expelled from the system. You can repeat this process as many times as necessary until you are happy that there is no air remaining in the system and you've run the oil forwards and backwards several times and can no longer see any air bubbles. Next step, seal the oil funnel, remove the syringe, remove the M5 adapter, and replace the bleed port screw on the caliper. We can now remove the oil funnel from the M5 adapter, and we can unscrew the secondary bleed port. If it is full to the brim, nothing is required. If there is space, we can drip some oil into the secondary bleed port to top up the system. For good measure, we can also drip some oil into the primary bleed port at this stage. Next, remove the bleeding blocks and spray the caliper with alcohol to make sure there is no oil contamination. We can then reinsert the brake pads Careful not to over tighten the screw. Now we can reinsert our wheel and disc. At this stage, we can test the lever 
we should see the oil moving in the open system and we can drip a little bit more oil into the primary bleed port. We are now ready to remove the adapter and to close the primary bleed port. At this stage, we can spray alcohol on the lever to fully clean the lever, make sure there's no oil contamination. At this stage, we can put the lever angle to our preferred position. We can set the lever reach to our preferred position, and we can also adjust the bite point so the brake is fully set up how we like it. At this stage, we can test the lever and it should feel nice and solid. If you have any problems, please contact your local Lewis dealer for support.